Today we're going to check out how we can customize models with generative fill in mid-journey and Photoshop actually. Let's see, first I'm going to change up the pants. So I'm going to select the lasso tool and I'm just going to select it from here all the way down here. I'm thinking to add a nice dress, nice yellow dress. Click on generate and here we go. I also got to type in here, let's try out with shorts. These have some weird materials. I don't like it that much, but I also can change it up with jeans. Oh, look at that. This actually worked. So yeah, I got to try out with office dress. This one looks decent. All right, now I'm going to add a jacket on her and I'm going to select from here, something like this. And I'm going to type in leather jacket. This actually is pretty great. All right, this is not that bad either. So of course, this is a work in progress. You won't get the best results from the get go, but this eventually is going to evolve better and better. I got to leave this jacket on and I'm going to change up the dress, something new. I got to go with that red dress and we got some alternatives. OK, I got to go with this version and I'm going to add some shoes. I got to select this one and also press and hold shift and select the second shoe. I got to type in Adidas or Nike shoes. Yeah, now this doesn't look that good. All right, this is actually a little bit better. This also has some more red in it. Let's generate more. Oh, look at this. This is actually great. This is going to match the dress and we got better and better alternatives. So I got to go with the first one. I also going to add some tattoos. I'm going to add it right here. Type in tattoo. Uh, that's weird. Let's change it up. No, no. But anyways, you can generate more. All right. This actually looks decent. I'm going to add those red sunglasses. I'm going to select the eyes. Red sunglasses. It looks really bad. All right, this is not that bad, but not the best either. And now I'm going to add balloons. So I'm going to add it right here in her hands. I'm going to go like this. A huge message box. What can I say? Red balloons. Whoo, and there you go. I think this is good. Let's see the second one. No, no. So it's something like this. So yeah, this is how you customize models with the generative fill in Photoshop beta. It's like customizing the characters in video games.